latest discussed reports that are floating about that Microsoft are working on two huge new projects. The first is a new operating system known as Midori. Now that operating system reports are saying it has nothing to do with Microsoft Windows whatsoever. More on that in a moment. And then finally, another programming language. This programming language is dubbed as M Sharp, and we'll go into that in just a second as well. I've written a article on this and I've linked it in the video's description. You can check that out. It's got all relative links as well as an image depicting why Microsoft are creating this new programming language. So, what is Midori? Well, last Friday, a Microsoft researcher um, by the name of Jim Duffy created a blog. And in this blog entry, known as C Sharp for Systems Programming, by the way, this also um, is M Sharp. So, he goes into detail of research that's happening with this project um, at Microsoft, but this didn't really come up with the full story. Instead, what happened is that it dredged up a lot of rumors, and another person by the name of Mary Jo Flowley, um, she's a reporter, and she's found out that the new operating system is indeed in the works, and it's not surprising that Microsoft are working on another OS, right? It's like, okay, Windows 8 is being created. It's released. They've obviously released 8.1. They're working on other patches. Nothing surprising there. We also guess that, of course, they're working on Windows 9 in the background. But apparently, this isn't what's happening right now. There is indeed a Windows 9 likely being worked on, but there's also Midori. And the reports indicate that it was actually an incub it was in incubation since some point in 2008, possibly before, but we definitely know it was around from 2008. And it's got nothing to do with Windows at all. Instead, it's a small, lightweight operating system. And the purpose behind this is not to have the Windows legacy. So it's got none of the backwards compatibility, or at least a lot less of the backwards compatibility. And obviously, as gamers, we immediately think to ourselves, hmm, this could have some potential implications, for example, the DirectX and Windows Sound Stack and so on being new, being just a couple of them. So what basically happened is for a long time, it was just kind of a thought process. It was, it was something Microsoft were toying with internally just to get an understanding of things. But then what happened is it started to gain legs and it was whipped out of the hands of the research group and then went into the same group which handles Microsoft's commercial operating system. So for example, that would be say Windows 8 or Windows Server. And now it's being worked on. Now we're not sure exactly why. So it's possible that we're gonna be seeing a box version, it's possible. It's also possible that what they're going to do is basically say, okay, well, we're going to strip functions from Midori and we're going to use it for, let's just for example, say the new version of Windows. Let's call it Windows 9. It's also possible that it could be used exclusively in cloud. Now, as I said, there's a lot more to this, including um, an image on Duffy's, on Duffy's blog, and I've linked to that as well, so you can check that out. But let's move on now to the C Sharp. Now, the C Sharp for systems programming, um, also known as M Sharp, M Sharp is a derivative from what we understand of C Sharp. Now, the purpose behind M Sharp is it's not an entirely new language, it's an extension. So the idea is that it's to increase productivity and it's inspired primarily because of the emergence of cloud computing. Now, some of you may say to yourselves, well, hang on a moment, what about .NET? And yeah, Microsoft do have .NET, but the problem is .NET has been around for a while, right? So it's been around for so long that Let's just be blunt, it 
predates things such as Windows Azure or the cloud generally. Now, the Microsoft aren't the only ones pushing their own um, new languages. Google, by the way, have what is known as Golang. That's G-O-L-A-N-G, sometimes abbreviated as Go. And that's doing fairly well. Uh, Google are obviously pushing that towards um, things such as uh, application deployments in the cloud, right? So, for example, you deploy it, it doesn't require so much memory usage and so on. So, a lot of the APIs and uh, libraries are a lot easier in this language. And so, of course, you're saving hosting costs, which is obviously a really good thing. So, Microsoft have absolutely no reason to say to themselves, hmm, hey, you know what's a really good idea letting our competitors just pretty much dominate the language you know they want a compelling alternative themselves and this works for them so what does that mean for you and i as gamers probably not much for the foreseeable future however there's an optimistic part of me that what's going to happen is that midori or a version of windows let's call it windows 8 is going to emerge and it would be for gamers right that would be amazing or well, at the very least, it's going to fix the draw call issues and so on that are associated with DirectX. A man can dream. Or well, a woman can dream, but in this case, it's a man. Me. So let us hope that's what happens. Or at least something good, anyway. So anyway, as I said, I've included the links in the description. You can check it out, and then you can, you know, read all the blog articles yourself and all the other good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.